NCAA Division III football playoffs continue tomorrow with Ohio Northern traveling north and west to face third-ranked Wisconsin Oshkosh. Earlier this week, Dean Paul named the OAC Coach of the Year as a dozen polar bears were honored by the conference, including Wapenetta grad Zach Schmerge. Time now for Layfeld Welding's Top 5 Plays of the Week. Austin Scott, take it away. We begin this week's countdown on the pitch with UNOH women's soccer. The cross gets sent in and Denmark native Camila Anderson uses the header for the goal. The racers win their NAIA tournament opener 3-0. The Marion local Flyers made things very interesting at number four this week. On third down late in the game, Flyers Jack Homan blitzes through the line and sacks Mechanicsburg Caleb Romero to ice the game. This one was close, but Marion Local hangs on to take the playoff winning streak to 23 games. The Colwire Cavaliers have rode the consistent quarterback play from Jack Hemelgarn all season, and that continued last Friday night against Brookville. Hemelgarn completed 14 of his 21 pass attempts for 207 yards, including a gorgeous touchdown pass to Aaron Harlemer. Despite a tough loss to Trotwood Madison, the Wapakoneta Redskins earned the runner-up spot on this week's countdown. The Rams pass here goes off the hands of safety Aaron Huffman and into the midst of Nate Elsass for the interception. The Skins finish the season with a solid 12-1 record. The Minster Wildcats take the top spot of the countdown with a very familiar looking play. Josh Nixon drops back and lobs to the end zone. Jacob Deuce comes down with a bobbling grab over a defender for a touchdown, very similar to last week's touchdown catch against Riverside. Minster ends the 2015 campaign with a 10-3 mark. We're only a few weeks away from making the complete switch to the winter sports season on the Sports Report. That means it won't be long before dunks start appearing on the Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays. <laughs> 